Okay, so happy Memorial Day, day guys. So I'll be, this is how to properly care for a hamster, part two. I hope you enjoy this video. This video will be a bit shorter than part one, but I hope you enjoy it. So, what things are unsafe? As a responsible hamster owner, you should know what foods are safe or unsafe for your hammy. Who, not just foods though. You need to know toys, bedding, bar spacing, materials, and environments. So, for foods, there are quite a lot of unsafe foods for your hamster, but if you don't know whether it's safe or not, I suggest you just not feed it to your hammy. These are some unsafe foods. Avocado, bacon or ham, chives, onions, garlic, chili peppers, citrus fruits, candy, pickles, iceberg lettuce, raw potatoes, and spices and seasonings. I may I probably did not list all of them, but if you're un, if you're unsure, I suggest you either do some more research or just not feed it to your hamster. Next, toys. There are some toys that are unsafe for your hamster, such as hamster balls. Hamster balls are not safe for your hamster because usually they don't give enough ventilation and since your hamster relies mostly on their smell, they won't be able to see through the translucent plastic material and they'll be bumping into things. So that's not good. And also I don't recommend any plastic, any that many plastic toys because there could be chemicals released through the plastic and that's not good for your hammy either. Next, beddings. As you can see in the picture, there are some. Th these are some wood shavings that are s that are safe for your hamster and unsafe. Pine and cedar are definitely unsafe for your hamster, but hemp and aspen shavings are. I didn't put hemp in the picture, but you can know that that is safe for your hamster. Also, safe beddings are hemp, are hemp, aspen, and any paper-based bedding. Any other can cause respiratory, respiratory problems and no hay or blankets and that stuff because your hamster needs to be able to burrow. Also remember that cotton nesting is not good for your hamster because it may wrap around your hamster, hamster and cut off circulation or they can swallow it and it can cause a blockage. Next, bar spacing. If, you're, if your hamster is living in a cage, a barred cage, then you need to make sure that the bar spacing is just right. You need to make sure that the bar spacing is small enough so that your hamster can't escape, but big enough so they have some ventilation. If it's too big, your hamster may get its head stuck inside and suffocate. What materials are unsafe for your hamster? There are some materials that are just unsafe for your hamster to be around, such as any such as, in my opinion, a lot of plastics, especially the ones that are painted or fabric that, or fabric that they can easily chew. And yeah, I'm having a brain fart, so I can't exactly think of anything, but just let me know if I've forgotten anything. Next, envir environments. You have to make sure where you put your hamster cage or where you bring them is safe for them. You can't have your hamster's cage in an open, next to an open window or in a sunlight draft, especially if they're in an aquarium. The glass can magnify the heat and your hamster may faint. And also, it can't be too cold either, so during the winter or summer, I suggest you put a fan there that blows either hot or cold air, or have heating pads and ice packs in handy, just in case. When it's cold, your hamster may go into torpor, which is when they go into deep sleep, like a coma kind of thing when they're too cold. Hamsters, much, in my opinion, should be kept in temperature 65 to 75 degrees, nothing higher, otherwise it's not safe for them. Next, providing enough food and water. Feeding a hamster too much or too little is not good. It's important to know how much a food a hamster needs and what kind of food a hamster needs. For any dwarf hamster, I, re I recommend two to three, one to two tablespoons every three days and for a Syrian or Chinese hamster, I, re I recommend one to two tablespoons every other day. 
Water bottles or water dishes are both fine, except I suggest water dishes because that's how a hamster would normally drink in the wild. Also, water bottles, they can have a mineral buildup. So if you're using that, you have to make sure to clean out the little straw thing once in a while. And you should have a safe mix of foods for the seed mix and a high variety diet. A lot of people think they should just feed their hamster a one pellet diet because, because they think it could cause your hamster to be picky and only pick out the unhealthy things in the seed mix. But, but just having only cracker, well, I mean not only crackers, having only pellets, like your hamster will get really bored of their food easily. And that's not good. It's just like as if you have to eat like a boring cereal for your whole entire life. And that's not fun, right? So you should have a safe mix of foods and a high variety diet. As you can see in the picture, this hamster has a quite high variety diet. And one thing I, can, I might see that they don't have are some dried insects. I recommend mealworms because hamsters are not herbivores. If they're fed an herbivore diet, they could lack nutrients and slowly die. And this is it. And this is a ham me eating my favorite food, tomatoes, which by the way is safe for hamsters. And I apologize if I've missed any important things. If I did, you may tell me and I will go over it in another video if you want, because it may be boring for you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you know when I've posted a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two.